Welcome to Sri Lanka. We landed in Colombo yesterday morning after a full day of traveling. We'll be here for nine days because our friends are getting married next weekend. This is our first time in Sri Lanka and we're very fortunate to be able to visit this beautiful country with our friends who grew up here. Yesterday after Nawash's family picked us up from the airport, we still had a couple hours before we could check into our hotel. So Nawash showed us her home and we met her four dogs. Afterwards, we ran some errands to help us settle in. We picked up some LKR, which is the local currency, and we went grocery shopping to pick up some last-minute necessities. We also got a SIMS card so we can have high-speed internet during our stay. After all of that, it was finally time to check in. Once we got into our hotel room, we unpacked, showered, and had the longest sleep of our lives. We slept for over 15 hours. But now that we're well-rested, we're ready to explore Colombo. And we're so excited to share our experience with you. Now let's get breakfast because we haven't eaten since our last flight. There's a lot of options at the buffet, and for our first meal, we're going to try a Sri Lankan breakfast. We want one or two? This one. Ooh, interesting. They all have like a very similar texture. To like and then I'm pretty sure this goes here right deciding on butter chicken which is their spicy option and two vegetable options and we're very excited to try them because they look so delicious You know that we love fruit. 
So obviously we couldn't have our breakfast without a plate of fruit. We have a lot of tropical foods that we tried and there's even some fruits that we haven't had before, which is the green orange and the rabu tad. And we're super excited to try it with you guys. We just finished breakfast at the buffet and we enjoyed everything that we tried and we're so excited to try more Sri Lankan dishes during our visit. Our friends who are getting married this weekend invited us for lunch today. So until then, we're gonna head up to the rooftop to check out the infinity pool. We changed into our bathing suits and we're wearing the robes upstairs because we don't have any proper bikini cover-ups, but this will do. getting ready and now we're waiting for Shashanka and Jacqueline to pick us up from the hotel to take us to lunch. We're so excited to see them because the last time we saw them was actually in Boston a couple months ago. They're almost here so let's head down now. which means it's almost time to go on our Colombo City tour. The tour is complimentary with our stay at Marino Beach and it will take us to five landmarks and museums. So let's head down and catch a shuttle. This is our first stop, which is the Colombo National Museum. We have 45 minutes to explore this, so let's go. We just finished touring the museum. It was pretty hot in there, not gonna lie, but we saw a lot of interesting and beautiful artifacts. And on top of that, the architecture of the museum is just gorgeous. Our second stop is the Independence Memorial Hall. We have 15 minutes to look around. and because we're showing our shoulders, we had to cover up with a shawl. Another note is that you cannot wear hats in here either, so you will be asked to take it off when you come here. There's a lot of Buddha statues. We are heading out to dinner right now. We have reservations at Ministry of Crab, which is a popular restaurant here in Colombo. We're running late, so we're going to call it Uber and head out now.
morning we had breakfast at the buffet again and we tried a ton of new South Asian dishes and of course everything that we tried was super good. Now that we were fueled up, we're ready for another day of exploring Colombo. Today we'll be going to the Peta Market and visiting the Red Mosque. We will be getting there by tuk-tuk because you have to ride a tuk-tuk while in Sri Lanka. Our friend recommended that we get a tuk-tuk through Uber, that way we're charged fairly and not given foreigner prices. So let's find a tuk-tuk and continue exploring. We came back from breakfast today to a little surprise. Housekeepers came in and cleaned our room and tucked in pickle and pepper. So right now we're booking our tuk-tuk to the Red Mosque and we're doing it through Uber. And the cool thing about Uber here in Sri Lanka is that they give you a lot of options on what to take. Obviously, you could book a car, but then also you could book a tuk-tuk or even a motorcycle ride. Here in Sri Lanka, the Ubers are cheaper regardless of what mode of transportation you decide to take. But today, we'll be choosing a tuk-tuk for the Sri Lankan experience. So this is the part of the video where we get scammed. Basically, the guy behind the camera convinced us that the Red Mosque was close to visitors for prayer time. I did my research beforehand and knew that the mosque was not closing for another hour, but we believed him because who would lie about that? He then suggested we visit a nearby temple in the meantime, which we thought would be a good idea to kill time while the mosque was supposedly closed. At the temple, this man applied a bindi on our forehead, which he explained was to bless us. We were still unsure if this is even the correct meaning, but we went along with it. After this temple, he walked us further from Peta Market to show us other Hindu temples and suggested we take a tuck to see more temples, which we agreed to, because at this point we were melting in the sun and overwhelmed by our surroundings. Sometime in the tuck, we began sharing our location with Shashanka because we were traveling a lot further from the Red Mosque than we had anticipated and quickly realized that this was not the smartest decision we've made. Thankfully, as promised, we saw many beautiful temples around Colombo. We also learned a bit about Colombo's history and a few facts about the Hindu religion. We even participated in a Hindu ritual which involved a coconut and a candle. Essentially, we were tricked into doing a temple tour and we knew it was not going to be free. So when he asked for some sort of compensation at the end of the tour, we were not surprised. We gave him 7,000 LKR, which is about $25. This was a loss we were willing to take because we did see and learn a lot about Colombo. However, the biggest scam was the yeah. tuk-tuk ride, sure. which ended up costing us an additional $30, Two, despite it normally costing yeah. less than $10. We wanted to share this with you so that you can be aware of this particular tourist scam and to learn from our mistakes. Unfortunately, tourist scams are very common, not just in Sri Lanka, but other countries where you are a foreigner and where you are not familiar with the language. So just remember to be cautious of everyone, even seemingly harmless locals. We're just lucky that we're safe and that we only lost 50 bucks. We eventually went back to the Red Mosque, but by the time we got there, it was actually closed to visitors for prayer time. We'll get one jello bean. This one? Yeah. What's the green one? Then I get two. Blue jamu? Yeah. Yeah, two. One for Luda. Take away here. 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 Yeah. Thank you. How much? 800. Yeah, this is a faluda. I don't know what's in it, but it looks like there's chia seeds and ice cream on top. Sweet. It's like strawberry milk kind of. That's ice cream in it. So we oh. got some jello beans. Very syrupy. Mm. Oh, really good. No. And we've had something like this before, right? We've had jello beans before, but yeah. it's really different.
pit stop back in the hotel because it is extremely hot today we were tuk-tuking around colombo and we were sweating from every pore of our body so we just had to come back and shower and change we we're about to meet up with shashanka and his mom in a bit because we are planning on wearing a sari to shashanka and jacqueline's wedding so today we're gonna go with the help of shashanka's mom to pick out a sari night staying at marina beach before we transfer to an airbnb but before we leave we really want to check out the marina beach lounge so that's what we're doing tonight 